Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Being Bodega Cat. If you haven't seen yet, I moved. That's why there's the echo, the white background, etc. I'll take care of it soon. Just, just, just give me a minute. Today we're doing another like all the new foods I tried in whatever month and today's month is June. June was where I was moving most of the time so I didn't get my hands on as many new foods as I wanted to but I did try a couple new foods including one that I liked so much. So stay tuned to see all the new foods that I tried in June and what I thought of them. Go! Hey guys, good morning. Today we're taste testing something that kind of scares me a little bit. I have these in two flavors, not really flavors, in two vegetables, but we're gonna try one today and one another day. Uh, this is the Poshi Steamed and Marinated Snack Asparagus Flavor. Yes, we have steamed and marinated asparagus in a pouch. Now, I don't really get the point for this product, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, that's weird. It's a weird product. Number two, the one pack is only 10 calories, so it's not even a filling snack. So this is, what kind of snack is this? Who would snack on this? Who would it satiate? I don't understand. But we're going to give it a try today, so. Oh, okay, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells kind of lemony, so that's good. Smells kind of good, but it looks weird. I mean, it looks kind of like mushy asparagus that's been in a pouch for a while. Nothing out of the ordinary, just like this. Asparagus. It doesn't taste bad. It literally just tastes like lemony over steamed asparagus. I would eat this. You know what I would do with this? I'd put it on a salad or I'd put it as a side, but you can just make your own asparagus for salads or sides. Like why would you get a pouch for it? The only reason you get a pouch is for like a snack on the go. And imagine I like pulled this out on the train or something as a snack, rosemary oregano flavor. You don't really taste much rosemary oregano. You taste a little bit. It mostly just tastes like lemony asparagus. Flavor, eight out of 10, kind of yummy, but I just still don't get the point. That's my review. Hey guys, my greasy face and I are coming at you with another taste test. This one's a little bit special because if I do like this product, I will be doing a giveaway on it, but by the time this video uploads, the giveaway would have already been done if I did it. So, uh, sorry, you should follow me on Instagram to catch things like that. Anyway, so we're gonna be reviewing new Abe's brownies on this side of the camera. These haven't even launched yet, but they sent them over to me to give it a try. And this is how it looks like. It looks so moist and delicious. And considering that I've liked basically every single Abe's like product I've ever tried, I have high hopes. I think it's gonna be delicious. Let's do this. Oh wow. You can't tell because the brownie is so dark, but there are so many chocolate chips. It's so rich. Mmm. 10. 10. It is so rich and fudgy. There's like 50 chocolate chips in this tiny little brownie. And the batter itself is also like incredibly chocolatey. Like this is for someone who absolutely adores chocolate. Like this is chocolate in cake form. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, this is an amazing brownie. My words aren't doing it justice. I wouldn't change anything about it. So good. So I was craving a little snack and I figured why not do a little taste test. Kill two birds, one stone. <clears throat> Sorry, PETA. Feed two birds, one scone. I grabbed this from my snack bucket. I have like a snack bucket with like mostly new snacks that I wanna try. Anyway, this is the Primal Spirit Vegan Jerky, non-GMO, the teriyaki flavor. It's like a single serve jerky type thing. Uh, one serving is 99 calories. So, yeah, a little snack, you know, nothing too substantial. Oh, it smells very good. I got this in a snack pack my friend got me for like Christmas or something. I wanna get scissors and open this one second. Okay, it's like a meat strip. Right? So I'm gonna try to pull it out of the top. Oh, I got a little piece. The texture is juicy. 
It's not very dry. It's very shreddy, which is cool. All right, very shreddy. Oh, look at that shred. I'm not really a fan of the flavor. Maybe I should just not review jerky because I did like this one jerky brand before I went vegan that was teriyaki flavored. Ever since then, I haven't been able to find a vegan teriyaki that tastes similar. And it's not the fact that they're vegan, it's the teriyaki sauce they use in these. It's just not, I don't know. It's too sweet, but I know. Teriyaki is sweet, Rebecca, I know. And so if you like sweet teriyaki, you'll probably like it. Seven out of 10. I really like the shreddy texture. And I really like that it's juicy. Boom. A real quick review in which I will not eat the product and I will tell you why. I tried this product uh, already and it was so bad that I really don't want to put myself through eating it again. And that is, I'm sorry to say, Violife cream cheese. Now I've made my opinion known already on Instagram or something? No, TikTok. And people were just like, oh my god, I love Violife. Okay, me too. Violife makes some good cheese, but maybe I'm from New York. I don't know. I eat a lot of cream cheese. I ate a lot of cream cheese growing up, and this was so bad. It tasted like if coconut oil was made from plastic, and when it gets hot, it turns clear like coconut oil, and it's really bad. It's really bad. It's so bad, and I'm about to throw it out into the garbage right now. Two out of ten. End of review. Hey, guys. So we've already tried the asparagus. Today we're gonna try the artichokes. And because the asparagus is, is asparagus, we're not bad, then I'm guessing this one's not gonna be that bad either. But let's just give it a try. My hands are kind of painty because I've been painting today. I basically finished painting today. Oh, it actually smells pretty good, kind of lemony. I just have little touch-ups to do, that's it. Honestly, because I had the other ones already. I have higher hopes this time than last time. Mm, it's good. It's lemony, vinegary, garlicky, basil -y. Tastes a little bit like little Italian-y vibes. Italian-y vibes. Like, taste-wise, it's good. But, once again, I don't understand this as a snack unless you're on very, very restrictive diet because this can't be very filling. And considering they're like 20 calories, I couldn't see myself actually paying more like more than like a dollar for this and knowing how fancy they look and stuff, they have to be more than a dollar. So, I like these better than the asparagus, so I would give it like a nine out of 10. Like, it tastes really good. But as a snack, seems a little dumb, you know? All right, we're at the new place. I tried this new chocolate yesterday off camera, um, but I wanted Roberto's opinion on it too, so I brought it to our new apartment. This is the chocolate, it's called Mast. And I got the oat milk chocolate. They had a few other versions as well. But I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. So we're gonna try both now, again. Ta-da. It has like a hint of non-chocolate flavor. But it's not bad. I don't know, it's not great either. 6.5. 6.5. I could agree with the 6.5. So this was okay. It was okay. And it wasn't cheap. It was like four or five dollars. So I would say um, the packaging is super, super, super cute. And I love the idea of oatmeal chocolate. And maybe I'll try a different flavor from them. But I'm not a huge fan. Like I'll finish the bar, but I probably won't buy it again. Yeah. Yeah. I have another piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. <laughs> And that is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which one of these foods that you enjoy or you don't enjoy. Give me your opinions and let me know what I should look for to try this month so you can watch it next month in the recap video. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.